Let's have a look at how to find the equation of a plane given we know three points on the plane. And we'll have a look at this example to illustrate these ideas. Here we're given three points A and C that are on the plane we're wishing to find the equation of. And the first step is to find two vectors that lie on the plane. And we can do this by finding two vectors using pairs of these points. So for instance I might decide to do this by finding the vector from A to B and the vector from A to C for instance. And the vector AB is equal to OB minus OA. So in this case that will be 3i plus 5j plus 2k minus i plus 6j plus k. And working that out therefore AB in this case will be equal to 2i minus j plus k. Similarly finding the vector AC which also lies on the plane that will be OC minus OA which is going to give us 3i plus 2j plus k minus i plus 6j plus k and working that out we find that AC is equal to 2i minus 4j plus 0k in this case. Now the second step is we can actually find the equation of a plane if we know about a normal vector to the plane and therefore when we find a vector product such as AB cross AC that will always when you do a vector product give a vector perpendicular to the two vectors in the product. So hence you can actually now find the normal vector to the plane N by finding the vector product of your two vectors that lie on the plane. In this case the vector product AB cross AC. And recall that for the vector product that's a determinant i, j, k go in the first row. Then the coefficients of AB which is 2, negative 1, 1 here. Then the coefficients of AC which is 2, negative 4, 0. And hence that's going to become i times the subdeterminant when we cover the first row and first column which will be the determinant negative 1, 1, negative 4, 0 minus j times the subdeterminant when we cover the first row and second column that is 2, 2, 1, 0 and then plus k times the subdeterminant when we cover the last column and the first row so the subdeterminant 2, negative 1, 2, negative 4 and that hence works out to be n lots equal to i times 0 plus 4 minus j lots of 0 minus 2 plus k lots of negative 8 plus 2. Hence in this case the normal vector becomes 4i plus 2j minus 6k. Now the next step is a very general principle is that if we're given a normal vector to the plane of form ai plus bj plus ck then the equation of the plane will have the form ax plus by plus cz equal to some constant d. So here with our normal vector 4i plus 2j minus 6k in this case the equation of the plane has the form 4x plus 2y minus 6z equal to a constant d. And the final step now then is to find the constant d. And we can do this by substituting any one of our three points in as all of these points must satisfy the equation of our plane. So for instance if I decide to use the point A161 for instance that gives us 4 times 1 for x plus 2 times 6 minus 6 times 1 is equal to d and that works out here to give us d equals 10 in this case. Hence the equation of the plane substituting that in is going to be 4x plus 2y minus 6z equal to 10 or any scalar multiple of that equation such as 2x plus y minus 3z equals 5 is also a form of the equation of the plane.